Alrighty, so we've made our business card, and now what I want to do is show you a couple of little things you can do to enhance it and how to save it. Alright, first thing I'll show you is, now that we've got the layout and everything, I have the car, I have the tools and everything, I want to make a gradient. So I'll go to the gradient tool, and a gradient, I'll do transparent at the bottom and kind of bluish at the top. I like the color blue, you could change the color by clicking on this and go to any color you'd like. I'm going to make a little gradient from the bottom to the top, but if I just do it over it, it's going to go over the whole entire um, card, and you don't want that, so control Z. We're going to go to the bottom layer, make a new layer, go underneath, and now in layer 3, I will call it gradient, and in the gradient layer, I'll just come to the bottom, click, and drag up, and now it makes a little gradient. Now, I didn't erase the background fully on this image right here which is the tools I'll double click on the layer and call it tools on the tools so I'm gonna lower the gradient and bring it down a bit so it's not so hard on the eyes whoops on the gradient move tool lower the gradient down so it's a little below the tools and I'll erase parts that are hard edges so if I don't like them so much I'll make the diameter a bit bigger to like a 200 and that's all I need there you go now you kinda of have a gradient coming in that, those are how you do gradients you can move the gradient up also again and bring it to you know as much of the card as you'd like solid shapes is the last thing I'll show you then how to save this you go to the rectangle tool or any other tool you want and if this is the color you'd like you just simply click drop and drag and now you have a solid layer as well and you could do that in the rectangle oh wait we'll make another layer for that and we'll call that layer shape make the make the line with the shape which is here click drop and drag and there you have your shape see and you could drag that actually oops you could take your shape now and move it down a bit if need be so it's kind of a Looks like the car's on top of it. And now that's pretty sharp. Um, you could even do another shape if you want to duplicate the shape. Now you have two of them. Drag it up to the top and maybe back it up a bit. And you could break it up or leave it up top here, here. It's up to you. Move tool and apply. And there you have it. Now you have another part of the shape. But I don't like that one. You can go to Edit Free Transform. Whoops. Where's my other shape? shape copy right here control T and you could shrink this shape a bit bring it over here move tool and apply it or you could take the shape and bring it above your name and you can go to edit free transform move tool and apply and now you have you can erase also on the shape once you click and erase it, it rasterizes it, and now you can just erase that hard edge of the shape if you didn't want it. Okay, so there's another way to make your card, and if this one is too uh, too dark on there, you can also rasterize this shape as well. Whoops, the gradient, and you can still see some more of those words there. There you have it, guys. Okay, so we go to File, Save for uh, you're going to save for web or let me make sure. No, don't save it as a PNG. You're going to save this as a PDF. So you go to File, Save As, and you go into a new folder where your file should live. So I will call it Business Card. In this folder now, I'm going to hit this drop menu and make this file Photoshop PDF Business Card and you would call this one the front that would be the front PDF save and now I would go to file save PDF yes then I would also go to file oh by the way here is your business card whoops 
there's your business card and the edges are a little bit wider so that it could be bled when it's cut alright and that's how the first one's gonna look and then you go to file save as for the raw file and you call this a PDF not a PDF this is a Photoshop file PSD so that's the front and all you would do is delete all these layers and then start the same thing for the back and you already have your bled template alright that's it and thank you very much